It's me again, Margaret. Uh, I thought I'd show y'all one more little thing I'm going to do today. Uh, since I'm reburying them, they're getting, getting, getting this thing without having any kind of a machine shop to check stuff. It's uh, to make me feel better. I'm going to plastic gauge the bearings to see how much clearance it's got. Can you see that? Plastic gauge. And this little, the green scale on top will show you the clearances. What it is is a little bitty piece of plastic that when you tighten the, the uh, main bearings or the rod bearings down, it mashes it to a certain width and that shows you the clearance. I had to buy a box. A $35 box full of these little rascals. We only use about six six or eight inches of it per inch. I'll uh, show, you, show you what it looks like and we'll use some of it. Put this back a little. There it is. Can you see that little bitty piece of hair? Now there's different sizes and different colors for different clearances and different applications. But you just take a little bit of this and put it across your main or your rod or whatever. Yeah, here's a smell of it. Come here, Larry. As close as you can. Across there. Can you all see that? Can you see that? Let me see if I can do this. Whoa, but I'll go the wrong way first. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's probably fell off by now. No, it's still there. Okay. Back you go, you naughty boy. And you do this dry. And an old magazine I used to read when I was a kid told you to take a cloth and to dress your dress your uh, bearings down. It kind of breaks them in or does something to them. I don't know. I've never done it, but that's what they say. It. You can tell what I was reading. Honey, honey, darling, honey. No, I've got to turn that off. It's about to give me. Quit that. Hush. Hey, you don't say shut up down here. You say hush. Get them started real good in the neighborhood. Get in there, Fred. Oh, don't do this anymore. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. We're going to torque it. Uh, I've got one of these ancient port wrenches. I've got a clicker one that I bought off eBay. Supposed to be a really bad burn good one. And I built the engine in the Wilmo with it. But it didn't, it didn't feel right. And uh, so I, I must have got rid of it. I can't find it anymore. Right? But this thing here is usually pretty accurate. I used to test my snap-on and my crafting one with this to make sure it was doing right. And uh, didn't have a place to get it calibrated at. I have done this before I've done the whole thing. You can make this one. When you add an extension, you usually add a couple pounds to the torque. That is, if you can get on the back of that side. Woohoo! Uh, let's change 
pork. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Come here, brother. Thank you, air compressor. Now we got it. We're going to tighten them up equal nolly, and we're going to torque it. Scoochie doochie. Can you, you want to see this? I don't, but you, maybe you do. See, when you bend it down, that airy, era comes up. I want to give it 55 for right now. Fifty-five. Okay. Fifty-five, fifty-five. Now, we'll let it sit for 30 minutes. No, no, you don't really do that. It should have already mashed everything that's going to mash. Now, don't turn the thing. I've seen people set it and then mash it and turn the, and it just sends the plastic somewhere else. Oh, pardon my back. Urgh. Oi. Excuse me, Larry. Let's see what we got. Well, we got that. This is not an assembly tool. Never use an impact for an assembly tool. He said. How does what the hell? Let's go down. There we go. Now you're coming off. Give your milk down, honey. There you go. I used to say that when I milk cows. Don't tell my wife. She want a cow next, and she finds out I can, I can range around the cow. Part of my back again. I tell you what, it's. I don't know how hot it's getting to be, but it's getting to be pretty hot here in the sun. Come on. Come on, my little darling, my little sweetie pie. Valentine's coming up, and uh, holy cow, I need to show you what you do for Valentine's Day, boys. Well, I got that one. Let's get this for you. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now, you can always... You'll either stick on there, on here, or on t both of them. Let's see if I can show you this. Yeah, da -da -de -de -de. You see that? You take this gauge and you match it up with however that, however wide that squishes it. So we got, according to that, we got a little bit less than two thousands. on that. Can you even see that? Well, it's hard to check this stuff out. According to this, you got about two thousands. See? So that's, I'm going to call that very good. Clean everything back up again. Don't leave that plastic stuff in there. I got a bunch of this now in case somebody needs it. Just holler. Don't pay thirty something dollars for it. Like I did. Well, it's cheaper than sending the thing off letting a guy use his measuring stick. Here we go. You're on the tripod, by gosh. I wonder if I can put you on the back of Wilma. Now, I'll crank you down where I think you're going to look. I can't tell what you're looking at. Can I see what you're looking at? Oh, my gosh. You're still below... Blowed up. Woo! See where all that... Okay. Boy, this filming stuff is really... Gets keggy after a while. But Darren says you gotta hit the button. Uh, this is really... There. Can you still see? Oh, it wasn't that. It was the one across there. Okay, anyway. Here's a... 
if I can find it. There's some of it. Don't forget, we're going to do this again someday. Woohoo! Thank you, Gregor. Okay. The evening before uh, Valentine's Day, grab you some soap. Uh, this is my own special flavor. You can tell it's been in here a while. <laughs> and, uh, if you go in the bathroom and she's got a beautiful mirror that she makes herself pretty with, you do this at night. What way, when she comes in, her face is usually in the middle. And you can put, la 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 la. La 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 la. And you put my love or sweetness or you know all that happy Valentine's Day. I love you. Thank you for my clean clothes and the, everything. But that would be a, a cool little trick that I've done in the past and will again for my little sweetheart. And uh, it's just something special that you can do. And uh, they seem to like it. Or at least she seems to like it. And it don't cost nothing and makes them happy. They'll, they'll start off with a good day. Especially if you put some stuff on there and, you know, I don't know. It's up to you. I don't want to know because some of that stuff gets kind of personal. I'm going to take my gloves off now because they're about to get me. I put them on to keep my dirty hands from touching this stuff. It wasn't because I wanted to keep them clean. Blah. Anyway. Okay, happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully I won't find anything else to show you and, bar and bother y'all. Love ya. Bye-bye.